Hey guys, Fuzzy here, and today I thought I'd make something other than a Lego figure. The game I had in mind was uh, Mario. Since I just made a Bowser video the other day, I was in the mood to make more Super Mario related things. When I was little, I loved to play Super Mario 64, so I really wanted to make some more uh, Mario stuff. One of my favorite things from the game was the piranha plants, so I thought it'd be cool to uh, have one for my desk or like to display somewhere. I have made a similar creation before that had similar features to the piranha plant. It was the Plants vs. Zombie Chomper plant. When I made the Chomper plant, the head was a little flimsy and it was very poorly structured. So, with the head I'm making this time, I'm going to make it with a stronger skeleton with more pipe cleaners. And uh, after that, I will fill it in as neatly as possible. My plan is to attach everything first before putting the lining in so no different colored pipe cleaners will be sticking out through the mouth. So when I'm done filling in the head part, I'll start making the outline of the spots. And you can start to see the white sticking out into the mouth because that's how I secure the spots into place. After I place all the spot outlines where I want them to be, I'll uh, fill in each one. Once that's finished, I can start making the stem. For the stem, I folded a few pipe cleaners in half for extra strength, which you will see later on in the video that I add more because it wasn't enough to hold up the head. I also added a bit of extra pipe cleaners to the bottom of the stem because I noticed it gets thinner at the top and thicker at the bottom. Then I wrapped it all together and stuck the extra tabs that were sticking out of the stem into the back of the head. Now for the part of the project that was a little hard for me to get perfect, which is the lining of the inside of the mouth. What I do for the lining is I make one long plate to put into the mouth, but it only covers the middle part of the mouth, so I kind of had to make it so it covered even the corners. After the lining is put into place, it is time to make the teeth. First set of teeth I'm making are the bottom row, and uh, those only have four teeth on it and the upper set has five teeth on it. The, uh, the five teeth though are smaller and the four at the bottom are bigger. All the teeth will be connected by one red pipe cleaner so all the teeth stay in place and don't wiggle around. Before I fill in the teeth, I need to make the lip part because what I'm going to do is weave the lip part in between the spaces. For the lips, I added extra strips of pipe cleaner to uh, bulk them up a little bit, just like I did to the stem. And also, weaving the pipe cleaners into the head like this also helps secure the lining in place so it doesn't move around in the mouth. Now that the lips are filled in, I can now cover the teeth and then trim the fuzz to make them more pointy. This is when I realized the stem is not that strong enough and it couldn't hold up the head anymore, so I had to reinforce it. For the tongue, I was thinking of attaching it to the mouth with two red pipe cleaners and poking them through the bottom of the inside of the mouth so they came out the other side, but I just kind of gave up and set it down into the mouth. For the leaves, I first made the outlines and filled them in, and since the leaves have an inner pattern that is a second shade of green, I created another outline onto the leaf. The design only shows up on one side though. It would be too bulky if I try to make it visible from both sides. After completing 90% of the leaves, I cut some of the fuzz on the edges of the leaf to uh, make them more sharper. Then I trimmed another different green pipe cleaner to add the leaf veins on. When I knew where I wanted the leaves to be, I stuck a pipe cleaner into one leaf and placed it next to the stem and got the other leaf so I could attach it. Finally, onto the last part, the pot and the soil. First, I had to make the soil because I wanted it to slide into the pot for extra security. For this, I had to imagine what size I wanted the pot to be and made the soil part slightly smaller. I made the soil with some strong dark brown pipe cleaners to make sure it would hold the weight this time. 
To attach the plant to the soil, I filled the top in first so I could poke all the tabs through and secure from the bottom before filling in the sides. I filled in the sides vertically to add more strength for when the plant sits on top. It also makes it easier to put it into the pot, which will be filled horizontally. For the pot, I filled the bottom in first, then start filling the sides in from the top. The pot will also be made with pipe cleaners that have a thinner wire, which is what makes them either strong or weak, but most of the nicer pipe cleaners have the thinner wire. Then I made the upper part of the pot with just two pipe cleaners that were a little longer than the circumference of the pot. Then I weaved a pipe cleaner between both of those. The reason why I made it longer is so that I can connect the two ends when I wrap it around the pot. But I do still have to secure it to the pot with, with little pipe cleaner tabs going through the pot. When the pot is done, I can now put the soil and the plant in, which is a perfect fit. And the piranha plant is finally complete. What did you guys think of this project? Uh, let me know if you guys would like more creations like this or just anything you would want to see next. And uh, thank you so much for watching.